This is Lavneet from Promotech. Welcome to the fourth video in our hands-on video series on C and data structure concepts. Till now, what we have implemented in our code is a linked list having data about students with ID, name, and CGPA. And then on top of that data, we have implemented criteria-based search using the binary search trees. We gave an example of searching by name and then by CGPA. Let's see what happens if we want to construct a binary search tree for another criteria, which is which could be in our case, the ID of the students. So here are the IDs of the students. The one thing that you notice over here is that we have increasing IDs of the students in an increasing order. So I'll take in our, for the illustration, we'll take just three uh, digits, last three digits of the ID. Now we start with a new, uh, let's go to the new page. So we start with an ID 001. Okay. And this becomes our root node and this is our root node pointer. Now the next ID comes, which is 002, and it is compared with 001, and that comparison results into greater than 001. So the 002 ID goes to the right of the binary search tree. So now we take the third one, and because it is also greater than 001 and 002, it comes to the right side of 002 then the fourth one again because of the uh, way binary search trees are created it will all be on the right side similarly every id that we try to put in the binary search tree it's gonna be on the right side of the previous node so so on till i think we had the last id as 379 so what this becomes is effectively a an equivalent to a linked list and therefore the search performance will be n on uh, order of n that means um, importantly it also means that our binary search tree implementation is dependent on the type of the data or the order of the data this order of the data or input data depends makes the binary search tree as worse as a linked list or depending upon where it lands between a well balanced binary tree and the linked list so therefore the question is, can we have independent binary search tree, binary search tree, which can guarantee um, log n performance, order of log n performance. Remember, log n performance is what binary search tree theoretically give. But in scenarios like this one that we discussed, this is worst case scenario, which where binary search tree is as bad as a linked list. Um, so what is the way out for this? The way out is to have binary search tree implemented as red black trees. So the red black trees are binary search trees, but they have some properties. Of course, the nodes have red or black color. They are um, with the root of the black uh, root of the red black tree is always black there is no red red parent child relationship so this is very important to know because that is the property that gets violated most often and we need to fix that property and also the fourth one is count of black nodes in any path is same so let's take the example few examples 
in the first example here on the left side, uh, we have all three nodes as black nodes. It is a red black tree. And then we have um, on the as the second example, we have our parent node, the root node as black node, and the two other nodes are red nodes as children. It is also a red black tree. In the third example here, the count of the nodes from root node to all the path from along this path and on this side is same, which is two. So therefore, this is also a, a correct or genuine red black tree. However, on this side, the, th the last example is not a red black tree because it has three black nodes in one side and no black node on the other side other path so this is not a red black tree so while we implement our binary search tree as red black tree we need to make sure that our the every change in the tree during insertion or deletion the red black properties are maintained so how do we implement it so what we basically do is for insertion, we simply insert the node in binary search tree like a regular binary search tree. And then if there are any violations, we try to fix those violations and bring the tree back to hold all the red black tree property. So there, these are the two steps using which we can maintain the red black tree properties when we insert nodes. Another thing to talk about in red black tree is rotations so we have left and right rotations across two nodes about two nodes so if we have here on the left side a tree with x and y nodes and alpha and beta are left and right subtrees of y whereas gamma is the right subtree of node x so when we want to rotate it right at about the x node and y node so this is how it will become so the y node becomes the parent of the x node the alpha subtree remains as it is however the beta subtree which was on the right side of the y has now become the left subtree of x and then gamma subtree remains as it is so equivalently we have left rotation across this x and y axis about this axis and then it results into the tree that we see on the left side so these operations are important in restoration of the tree back into red black tree because addition during insertion of known nodes might violate those properties and we try to fix the uh, structure of the tree using the rotations one important point to note in this case is that the rotations do not change the in order traversal of the nodes that basically means that the rotations do not affect the um, order of the nodes but it does affect the structure of the tree and therefore it can help us reduce the height of the tree and uh, you know restore the red black tree properties but the operation in order traversal operation on the tree will not get affected so that is very important to understand so before uh, moving further in the diagram let's go back to the code here we have red black tree implementation in a kind of a hello world application and what we are going to do is we are going to walk through this code and then we will integrate this code into our main project code so here we have um, red black tree header file that defines few hash defined values for easier um, api definitions and then we know that every color has to have a have a color so we define the enum color red or black and then this is the definition for the red black node our regular red black tree a regular binary search tree node has left and right subtree pointers however for easier implementation of uh, red black trees we have an additional pointer which 
the current node will point to its parent so that we can move to the parent we need to access parent in in the algorithm so a parent pointer to parent is uh, convenient and then we have the color property of the node which will store the red or black color we has to find the struct to rb node and then we keep a pointer which is always pointing to the root of the tree because we have implementation with, with recursive calls so we need to make sure that we don't lose the pointer to the root of the tree so this global variable will always be pointing to the root of the tree bst insert function is the one that inserts a node into the red black tree just like a regular binary search tree and the grandparent will return the pointer to parent of parent of x and then we have this recolor family function so what happens in our case when we are trying to fix the red black tree there are cases where we just need to recolor without rotation and sometimes we have to recolor after the rotations so therefore we have a function where we have coloring of the recoloring of the family let's go back to our diagram over here so recolor of the family is like this we have this x node here and its parent is there its grandparent is there and the sibling of the parent is there so this parent grandparent and sibling of the grandparent we say is x family so let's assume that the color of parent is red the grandparent is black and the sibling of the parent is red again remember this grandparent may not be the root node so assuming that it is not the root node um, we can the recolor function will flip the colors of parent and the grandparent so these two nodes will become black and the parent node will become red provided it is not a root tree root of the tree if it is root of the tree it is going to stay black so the recolor family basically does this okay and then there's a function is sibling of parent null or black, null or black sibling of of parent so sibling of parent means this node for x node the sibling of parent is this node we check for this node being black or null and based on that we have uh, we switch to a different uh, thing in our algorithm that we will explain a little while in a little while then rotate left and right as the name suggests we will rotate the function uh, rotate the tree about x to left and right and then this is the main function fix red black tree which will be called uh, to fix the red black tree after the change in the tree by insertion of a new node wizard the node simply prints the contents and then in order traversal does the in order traversal first it visits the left subtree then the node and then the right subtree insert basically is a convenient function to just implement uh, you know it takes an integer and inserts a, a node that contains that particular integer as its info find node basically tries to find the location find the node in the binary search tree and returns the pointer to that particular node so we need to see that the information stored in our the data that is stored in our rp node is an integer uh, which we will change when we integrate this to our main project but this uh, here we are just uh, you know walking through to get more familiarity with the red black tree so let's execute this uh, creation of this tree with the, the nodes 8 18 5 15 17 25 40 and 80 and we'll walk through with the diagram and see how the red black tree is getting constructed so insert 8 
So eight, eighteen, five, fifteen, seventeen, twenty five. Uh, 40 and 80 okay what we can also do is we after every insertion we are going to verify or fix the red black tree and therefore after every insertion our in order traversal should result into a correct in order traversal so let's do the in order traversal the root node so rb root this is the name let's check the name of the global uh, variable bst root okay by mrs tree root do you remember that um, our red black trees are by mrs tree only so bst root is what we are saying to, uh, the, the name of the pointer to the node of the parent, the root node of the binary search tree and we can do this for after every insert which verifies that the insertion is complete so let's go through the steps and construct our first red black tree So every new node that gets created is colored red by default. So insert 8 will create a new node with color red here. And then we go further. It bind insert tree just inserts it. So the root is null, so it is the first node becomes the root of the tree. And after every regular BST insert, we call the fix red black tree function so that we can fix the changes and make sure the red black tree holds the properties. So okay, let's go inside. If that uh, node X is a root, then we simply color it black and return. So that is the first step of the algorithm and we have only single node but remember the node's color was red so that was not a red black tree even if it was a single node because its color was red and the root node in red, uh, red black trees is black so we turn it to black and return um okay so we can we already have in order traversal mentioned over here so what we can do is we can skip the in order traversal of our main function let's just remove it so we are already doing in order traversal after every insertion of the node so we don't need to repeat it over here okay so it has been inserted and now it's turned to insert 18 so f11 we create the node turn the color to red and insert it like a regular binary search tree insertion and remember the change we are doing or the additional step we are doing is we are setting the parent as well so therefore we just make sure the insertion happens and now we get to fix the red black tree so the um, state of our nodes is this here in our tree we have that is um, a as the root node and then next to node that we have inserted is 18 which is right now red node okay and as you can see it is a general red black tree 
So let's see our what our algorithm does. So root is not x is not root. So remember the x is this. This node is the x. And um, the parent of the x is black, which is true because our root node is black and that is the parent. So we just simply return. So we have already done. So in cases where our newly inserted node's parent is black, we don't need to do anything at all. So we do the in order traversal and we can see the out. First in order traversal is written into 8 and second into 8 and 18, which is correct. Now we move to the insertion of five and we insert it and then insertion will happen here to the left of um, eight and this is a, it's a binary, sorry, it's a new move. It will insert it in red color. So five is inserted here. And now we are going to fix red black tree if it is having any violation. So we move inside. And the X is not the root, so it goes inside. Sorry, it goes further. X parent is black, that is correct. So it goes inside it and returns because we don't need to do anything over here. So that is fine. And we do the in order reversal. And let's check the output. So 5, 8, 18, which is correct. And then we are done with the insertion of 5. Now we come to the insertion of 15. We go inside, create the new node with the color red. We do the insertion. And then we insert, uh, fix the red black tree. So, and now our third node, which is 15, comes over here. To the left of the 18 node, which is 15. Okay, this is red. Now you see that our there is a parent red red parent child relationship, so this is not a red black tree. We need to fix it. Let's see how our algorithm helps us here. So we move down. X is not the root. X parent is not black. The color of the parent is red. X is 15. The color of the parent is red. So that's not the case. And then we go back. Uh, it's not black. Is sibling of parent null or black? So sibling of X parent. What is the sibling of X parent? So X parent is this. This is the parent. Sibling of X parent is five. So is this null or black? No, it is not. So let's see what our algorithm does if it, the sibling of the parent is not black. So it should return uh, false and go out of this if block into the else block. So we just move out of it and go to the else block. So in this case, then we just need to recolor the family with x, uh, x starting with x grandparent. So we go inside. We return the grandparent and we recolor the family. So what happens in this case is our x is now the grandparent. So for recoloring function, our x comes over here. So we need to color it to red if it is not the root. So let's color it red. Um, because it's root, so we will keep the color and let's color these nodes in black because we are flipping the colors of these.
Now this is a genuine red black tree. So I think uh, we will not do any more fixes like this. So this is what we are doing. If the parent is not null, so that means we are not here uh, in the at the root node, then only we color it red. Otherwise, we just keep it as it is. So that means in our case, it is actually red. So we don't go inside that if block. We however change the color to black of the two parents, two children. And then again, we recursively call fix the red black tree grandparent of x and bst root so what we do now here is important to understand at this level we don't have a further this is bst root pointer we don't have a tree further up of this node and therefore we don't do anything over here but if there is further up the node any violations we just recursively fix the code fix the tree and uh, at the end we reach ultimately to the root node where we stop so we don't need to go so if we go inside it will just um, return from the first line itself because x is root and we just color it black and return and we have our in order traversal just move out of the function and our node number four is inserted and the order of traversal is correct 5 8 15 and then 18 so that means we our that black tree implementation is going on fine creation is going on fine we insert now 17 we uh, create the node with red insertion happens just like regular tree so we don't, don't go inside here we fix red black tree so we inserted 17 let's see where the 17 will be the 17 node will be at the right of 15 and it will be a red node because all new nodes inserted are red node again we have red red parent child conflict and we need to fix that let's go to the code and see how it gets fixed so we go inside our fixed red black tree our x is 17 this is our x and we go down x is not true x parent is not black it is red it's sibling of parent null or black so let's check the sibling of x parent x parent is this its sibling is going to be this node this fictitious node which does not exist so that means we have the case where parents sibling is null or black so this case becomes true and the first, for the first time we go inside uh, sorry, inside this if block. Now in these if blocks, we are just checking in these statements, the if, else if, and else if statements. The checks are, are the, what are the parent and grandparent, uh, sorry, what is the child, the X node, and the parent of the X node, what children are they? Are they left children of their parents? Or are the right children of their parents so the first if check checks if x is the left of its parent and the parent is left of its parent second if check checks if x is the right of its parent right child of its parent and the parent is the right child and third one checks if x is the left child of its parent but the parent is the right child of its parent and then the fourth one checks if x is the right child of the parent but the parent is the left child of the parent okay so all the cases we take care and in our case here x is the right child of the parent but the parent is the 
left child of its parent 18 so 15 is left child of the parent and 17 is right child of the parent so we should go to x is the right child of the parent in the second condition uh, third condition and the fourth one so we should be coming to this fourth condition let's check that out because our x is the uh, right child and the parent is the left child and we should go inside this here so we have come to this block now if this is the case then we do two rotations first we rotate left and then we rotate right okay so first we rotate left and then we flip the colors so rotate left also flip the colors of x and y so remember um, in our code over here in our diagram over here is x and y once the rotation happens the rotation is done then the second step we do is flip the colors of the x and y so whatever x has that becomes y is color whatever y is color is that becomes x color these two steps are done by our rotation functions themselves so let's go inside this function rotate left so this becomes our x the node x and y is its parent and we do the algorithm for insertion and what it basically does is it converts the tree that looks like this so this is our x node and the y node is the parent node after the rotation it becomes like this eight eighteen five and then this becomes seventeen this becomes fifteen and this is our And now we go to the next step. The boolean here for flip colors is false. We do not flip the colors in the first call. My mistake. So we go further without flipping the colors. And then in this case, we pass true and flip the colors as well or rotate right. Now we are rotating right across x. So it is important to note where what the x is. So x is basically our. 70 node at this point of time okay and now we need to rotate right so what is our y node now the y node is x parent so we are rotating between x and y over here so when this rotation happens this is the right rotation here it was left rotation um the tree becomes something like this eight five on the left side and this seventeen eighteen um and the fifteen so seventeen is red and it is x this is y and fifteen is also red after this rotation so let's go do the rotation and now we need to flip the colors as well so y's color becomes red and x color becomes black so y's color y's color becomes red so this becomes the red node And this becomes 
are flat mode. So now if we see the uh, whether this tree is a red black tree or not, this is our root. So from here to here, two, one, uh, this path, two black nodes, this path, two black nodes, this path, two black nodes, no red red parent relationship. So we have a genuine red black tree. So we we'll go further and go outside of this function and we have fixed the red black tree. And we just um, do the in order traversal and output. So as you can see, 5, 8, 15, 17, and 18. So this is how we are moving ahead in our implementation of the binary search tree. Now, the new node that gets inserted is 25. Let's insert that. So we insert the binary search, uh, the new node, and then fix the red black tree. So 25 gets inserted. So this is a red black tree. 25 gets inserted over here after 18 as red node. So this is our current state and this is our X node. Going back, we come to our um, red relationship and we have the parent as sorry this black node. Um, is sibling of parent null or black the sibling of the parent is red 15 sibling of parent is 15 so we it's red so we don't go inside this if check um, we go to the else block and we recolor the family so recolor the family starting with the grandparent so we recolor it and Let's do the recoloring. So the grandparent of the X is this 17 node. So this becomes a red node and 18 and 15 become black nodes. So 18 becomes black node, 15 becomes black node, and the grandparent becomes red node. So remember, this is the first time we are converting that uh, grandparent to be a red node because last time it turned out to be root node, so we did convert it into change its color to red node. So now it is a red node. And let's see what our algorithm does. So again we recursively call the fix on the tree which is up the grandparent up onwards here and we see that the parent is the root pointer. This subtree, the upper subtree, is actually genuine red black tree, so we should not, um, it is not violating the parent child red, red parent child relationship, uh, then it should not be fixing anything over here. And the overall tree is also red black tree. So let's check that out. So in this case, our X node becomes the grandparent of original X. So it is this node. This is our new X. And then we go further down. So the parent of the X is black. So we don't need to do anything. And we just come out of it. And we fix it. We do the in order traversal. And we see the output, it's correct. 5, 8, 15, 17, 18, and 25. And now we insert 40. 
go inside, click the node, put the BST, BST insert, and then we do fixing. So let's draw a tree. Uh, the new node is red, so OT is should come here. Okay, now again we have right child parent child relationship. This is our X, so let's now fix this code. Fix this red directory. X is not true, X parent is not black, is sibling of parent null or black? Is this true? Let's check that out. So sibling of the parent. So this is the parent. Sibling of the parent is null here. And therefore this is true. So we go inside that function. Inside this if block we go and we check the whether the parent and the X node are left or right uh, children of their parents. And in our case, both X and its parent, both X and its parent are right children of their parents. So therefore we should go into um, right right here we should come to this if block let's see okay in this case now we have only one rotation to do and we pass true for flipping the colors okay and it's important to notice over here that our x we are passing x parent over here in our previous case here it was the last block we are passing but in single rotations, we pass X parent. So the X node for rotation purpose, when we go inside this function, becomes the parent of the X that we had so far. So the X becomes 25 actually. For the rotation purpose, it becomes the parent of X. So we do the rotation. And we flip the colors. So we do the rotation and we flip the colors. So remember, during doing the rotations, we need to fix the parent pointers as well, in addition to fixing the right and left subtree. So we flip the colors. So what happens with the left rotation here? So tree becomes something like this. Mute means the if node. Five is the back node on left. Seventeen is the red node. Um, Fifteen is the left node, which is the alpha tree. And then here comes twenty-five. And we flip the colors. So twenty-five becomes black node. 18 becomes red node and 40 is red node. So 17 is red node. Um, 18 becomes red node and 40 is red node. So this results into a genuine red black tree. The count of nodes across all paths is two. So this is two, this is two, this is two, and this two as well. This is a gen red black tree. So we should not be uh, doing anything more to it. And now we go to our code. It flips the colors and come out of it and we 
fixed star like black so and we do the in order traversal and see the output it is 5 8 15 17 18 25 and 40 in an increasing order that means our creation of binary search tree is going on fine so let's insert our last node 80 let's go inside we insert the node and then we fix the red black tree how does the insertion happen so here we insert our node as the red node 80 so we have parent child conflict so we go inside so this is our x here we go back to the code and check our algorithm so x is not the root so we go down x parent color is also the black so we go down if sibling of parent null or black let's check that out sibling of the parent parent is 40 the sibling is 18 so that means it is not black and it is also not now so we get to the else part of this if block and in this we recolor the family passing it the grandparent of x so after recoloring what is the state of our um tree let's go and check it out first let's go this um, So after recolouring, uh, 25 uh, the 25 node becomes red. Forty and eighty becomes black. Eighteen becomes black and now for the first time in our algorithm we have a red red parent child relation uh, conflict red red parent child relationship issue at the higher up the tree so let's see how our algorithm resolves that so very colored and then we again call fix the red black tree function recursively and we go further down now remember our x node is 25 this is our new x 25 is our new x and we go inside it's not the root and the parent is red so this is also not the case here is sibling of the parent null or black so let's go and check it out sibling of the parent so 17 is the parent sibling of the parent is 5 which is black so this is 2 in our case and we should get into the if block so now we go to which of the if blocks here all right so x is the right parent grand and the parent of x is also the white child so both 25x and 17 parent of x are right children of their parents so we go into this if block and we rotate left by passing x parent as the node to rotate about in the rotate left now for the rotate function the x becomes as 17 17 is x and we have to do the rotation towards left. So this is the rotation and y x parent becomes y. So let's rotate this tree. So 17 becomes our new root. So though the color of the 17 node is red, we'll keep it black because anyway we will convert it back into black because of its root it becomes the root so this is our x 
y becomes the child of x so y becomes the child of x and then the alpha subtree which is 5 in this case remains as it is however the beta subtree which is 15 in uh, this older tree becomes the right child of y so 15 becomes the right child of y and then we have 25 over here which is a red red one and then rest of the subtree for um, this 25 subtree remains as as it is 18 40 and then 80 which is a red node and then at the end of this algorithm we flip the colors of 17 x and y so 17 and 8 colors are flipped so we have 8 as red node and 17 as y node so that is how our left rotation results in so let's check the genuinity of our red black tree now the root is black there is no red red parent child relationship and for all the paths the count is two in this path two in this path two in this path and two in this path as well so our tree is a genuine red black tree and we have successfully inserted a root uh, sorry the node 80 and we just move out of this function and then we have fixed our red black tree and then we move out to get the output so we can see that the output is in order and this is how we implement our red black trees now we will integrate the red black tree implementation into our project so on our screen we have the design of our system as you know we are having binary search tree for each of the criterion that is created by the application inside our library and these binary search trees is what we are going to convert to the red black tree so what are the changes that are required both from implementation perspective and we will see if there are any changes required from the design perspective also so the first change that we will need to talk about is the change to the structure of the t node as we know currently our t node has only pointed to the left and right subtree of the binary search tree we would need to include the pointer to the parent uh, in the binary search tree so this node should have pointer back to this particular node so that we can move up the tree in binary search trees that is one change second we have to make sure that we keep our data structure intact uh, in our program that is for example this SCID to root pointer table that should always point to the root why would that need a special mention because during the rotations in red black trees this root might change and therefore the pointer may not be up to date so we need to make sure that we are keeping the pointer here in this table to actually point to the root node if this node which is currently the root node moves due to rotation we need to update this pointer so that it points to the new node that comes at its place and um, let's now move to the code and we'll explain the changes that are there what I have done already is that I integrated the code and we will walk through the code so that we know what's what all got changed overall you can understand the change in a way that in our 
uh, layered design here there is absolutely no change at the app level so the application code or the code which the application writes to use our library has not changed at the layers below search and binary trees this is the two layers where the changes will be there linked list obviously uh, will also not get impacted due to the changes in the uh, binary trees moving to the code let's first talk about a change that we needed to do in our previous code this has nothing to do with the red black pre implementation while creating the red uh, the binary search trees during insertion of the node as well as during the binary search we were using a function or library function for comparing the keys of the nodes that library function we were using was memcompare that memcompare function is useful for data which is in bytes in the sense that for example characters or strings it is not useful for <coughs> the data which is not a string hence we need to change it that we need to change the comparison type so what uh, i have done is i have implemented this function which compares based on the actual type of the data that is stored in the key so remember we were having three types in the binary search tree search key type so the our search keys in our binary search trees could be of long double string or a generic object and in our code we have been trying to i mean we were using string for the names of the students and double for the cgp of the students and we could also use long for the ids of the student which we will do in a short while so to do the comparison part in the um, implementation of the tree we were Uh, we are going to do the comparison using type casting so if we have the type as string we use the string comparison function if the type is double that is the key contains double values then ob1 and ob2 are converted to doubles and then compared similarly for the long the return uh, result of this function is similar to the string comparison or mem comparison mechanism of return it returns zero if a and b are equal it returns a positive number if a is greater than b and if a is less than b it will return a negative number which is minus one so this implementation i have done and did i have also done the changes so in our case now we do the comparison not based on the memory footprint of the key but based on the actual type of the key all right so that was the change that i wanted to make sure we talk about now coming back to how do we integrate first thing is i extracted out the t key structure of the t node out in a separate header file because it is not related to any other uh, you know data structure so we keep it separate so we can refer it to di from different places then the main thing is we integrate this rp tree header file the tree node we have the search type we have the color enum color and then we define the node of the red black tree which has t key as usual we have in our previous code as well but in addition to the left and right pointers we have additional pointer to the parent of the node and the color of the node so these two things are additional to our old original node second thing because in our arbitrary code we were using rb node and in our current code project code we were using t node so what i have done is instead of trying to replace every 
syntax uh, every rb node instance i have just typed that rb node t node so we have <clears throat> basically using rb node and t node um exchangeably interchangeably with there are few functions that uh, we removed from our uh, implementation of rb tree but all the important ones which are part of the algorithm of uh, red black trees are already there and there is additional function set rb root i'll explain that in a in a while other than that all the functions that we had in our implementation are there rotate left rotate right and then this is the main function that should be called for uh, fixing the tree after the insertion of the nodes and then widget node i have modified just a bit so that it can be it it can pr print the nodes based on the uh, search key type so for example here we can see the widget node function is printing based on the type of the root it prints the string it prints the id in case it is long and if the type is double it will print the value here so okay now moving back to our tree node this is all about it in the ch the changes in the red black tree node and the hash defines remain as as they were coming to the search of the search.c file here we have few points to note the first thing is that in when we are indexing the data we are calling this in index search data function from the library uh, from the application we are setting the root node color to black as the root is black in red black trees so we are setting it here in uh, index search data only for the first time when we are storing the pointer in this table the first time we are storing the pointer in this SCID table, this root pointer, we want to make sure that the pointer, uh, the root, the node to which this pointer is pointing to is of color black, because that would be the root of the tree and its color has to be black for the tree to be genuine red black tree. So that is what we are doing here. And second thing additionally that we are doing is calling this function for rest of the node nodes when we insert rest of the nodes so a set sb root so it, this function basically is a function pointer in the um arbitrary.h file so if you see here this is a function that needs to be called of the function pointer and this function is basically doing simply setting the the uh, the global variable that we have here rb root equals to null so remember this global variable is a pointer to the root node of the binary tree and this root node is going to be set to whatever x node is passed here so why do we need to do that so remember the at the layer of binary tree level at this layer binary tree layer this binary tree is aware of only a single binary search tree it uses that global variable to always point to the root of the binary search tree because there are algorithms where we need to pass on the root um, for the subtrees also so the in those algorithms the root might change but we need a pointer to come back to the original root node of the complete search binary search tree so we keep that global variable however when we reach at the search layer here this layer is managing or creating multiple binary search tree now our pointer global pointer in the binary layers is only a single variable but we have multiple binary search trees if the global variable 
in this layer is pointing to let's say binary search tree for criteria by name but the search is happening for binary search tree of criteria by id or cgpa then the search the root pointer here is wrong because it, it is pointing to the name binary search tree and it will produce wrong results or maybe a crash so what this layer has to ensure is that before it either refers to any tree in the lower layer it must set that global root pointer to the correct tree because the search layer knows whose which tree is what and binary tree just works with one single tree at a time and that global root pointer should point to that particular tree therefore in our code in our code in search.c at the time of inserting a node we are uh, we are calling this function set rb root so passing it the root of the right binary search tree so we are talking about search id here which refers to the particular criteria and the root of that particular criteria tree so we set that proper the true variable the global variable and then we call the insert t node function so that is one thing second important thing we know to we do do is this these two lines so what we are doing here is if the root parent is not null so after insertion of the node there might be a, a time when the pointer stored in this array of SCID tables. Remember these these the pointers are root node pointers. So pointing to the root node of the tree that means the parent of the root node is null. But here we are checking if it is not null. So why it will not be null at any point? Like we discussed, what may happen is that during the algorithm of fixing the tree after insertion of the node back to be a red, genuine red black tree there might be rotations and due to that rotation this node for example if the rotation happens between this particular node and this particular node and the rotation is left rotation what it will result into is this node will become the root node and this node will actually become the uh, left child of this node. So therefore, it will no longer be the root node. So there, the pointer to this node will continue to point to this and that becomes and not the right pointer because this table should always point to the root of the tree. So we need to modify this pointer so that it starts pointing to the new row, new root of the tree, which is this node. All right. So how do we do that? So that is what this function does. This checks first checks whether there is a change in the root node of the tree, and then if it is so, then we reassign the root node for this particular tree. So let's go to the definition of this function. In this case, we are just saying, okay, which are, whichever the older, whichever was the older node, because it has become a child node, so its parent, we need to see, we get that parent, and then we move till up the tree till the parent is not equal to, till the parent is not equal to null. And at the time when X is pointing to the node where parent is null we just set that node as the new root of the tree so that is the idea so this becomes the root node and this node becomes the child of that node so we move up and make it make sure that we reach to the node which is root node and assign the x variable back to the root table so that we update the pointer this pointer back to actual root node or the new root node of the tree.
then that is one thing and um, what else we did the change in the key type earlier we were using key size but now we are using this variable to store the type of the root node pointer uh, root node sorry the type of the nodes uh, in the key type earlier it was having key size which was required for memory comparison function to compare the two memory pointers now because we are doing comparison by type we are passing the type not the size so that was one another change that i did going to the application of this uh, code this is the application which is using our library we can see that there is virtually no change we are creating the criteria and then we are putting the preparing the indexes of the data and then we are doing the search so as you know that if we have red black trees and and it is a binary search tree if we do in order traversal of that binary search tree it will result into the list of node values which are in increasing order ascending order so just to verify that we have implemented this function to in order traversal which basically calls the trees in order traversal function for particular um, tree by new size tree so that is just to verify that after we are done preparing the index data or preparing the red black trees for each of the criteria we are sure that the data is correct and that is why that we can check by manually inspecting the output of the in order traversal so this function serves that purpose and then after we are through we can actually remove this function and we can go directly to the search we are searching by name and then we are searching by cgpa and then we are searching by id as well earlier in our program we were not searching by id because the id was in the data for the id is in continuous uh, in an uh, increasing order from 001 all the way till um, till 379 and if we create binary search tree for this data it will result into a linear list actually linked list which is a worst case scenario for binary search now because we have red black trees implementation of our binary search tree we can search easily here because the red black tree will take care of the structure and keep the tree balanced and we have a granted login performance uh, okay so let's try to do some debugging and verifying how things work. We launch the debugger. And first thing we do is we uh, create the criteria, we read the data, uh, create the criteria. So we can see that the third criteria has an ID 2. The first is name and the zeroth is CGPA. So we have got three separate binary search trees, which are red black trees, ready for getting the index data. So we search by, uh, we set up the indexing part. Let's go to the ID part. In the ID, we have in the second index table, which is the third table we are going to create node and because its root is null we are going to set it up here because the default color of the node that create node creates is red all new nodes are inserted as red uh, our root node is black so we set its color as black and then we set the uh, pointer to the that new node in other in the table and then 
we come to the next data and we insert let's go into the id so we create the node we search the id because it is not the first node now we need to make sure that our pointer global pointer is correct pointing the right node so we uh, set it up and then we insert the node into the right red black tree so remember we are inserting the second node and the previous node is with id 01 so we will talk about the ids from here so here we have ids 001 and then i'll just talk about the three last three digits 001 is already inserted in as the root of the tree and now we are trying to insert 002 node so we try to find the place where we want to insert and we compare the values and the node that is getting inserted which is 002 is having value more than the node that is already there the current node which is the root node right now and therefore our comparison is one because this node is greater so we insert it at the right and then we try to okay so we find the place and then we insert it right now at the right of the previous node which is the root node in our case and then we fix the red black tree we go inside so this is the major change this from where here the red black tree come into picture we are trying to fix it because x is the second row uh, second node and its parent which is the root node is black so we don't need to do anything actually and we return so our two node red black tree is a proper red black tree okay and then there is no change in the root node so we just move ahead for the third data now we have 003 id as a new node to be inserted 001 is the root node 002 is the right child of the root node and we go inside we create the node and we set the uh, root proper and we insert the node here now we are pointing to the first node which is 001 let's go inside the node comparison which i missed last time here in the node comparison ob1 is our new node which is 003 ob2 is our root node which is 001 so let's go and the type is double type which is zero sorry long type which is zero so we come to the third block and typecast ob1 and ob2 to long values so we can see that our new node is 003 our comparing comparing with node is 001 and so a is greater than b so the comparison will result into one in fact every time the comparison will result into one because we have these nodes in an increasing order every node that we try to insert new is greatest of the all nodes that are have already been inserted so it will always result into a comparison function count returning plus one and then we move further and we insert the node um, at the right of the bottom of the tree now we actually insert it and then we fix the red black tree so now we have situation where our 001 node is the root node which is black 002 is the right of the root node which is and it is red and 003 is right to the 002 node and it is also red so we have a conflict where parent child are red in color and it is not a red black tree so we need to fix that tree so we start from the root node and we check if our new node is the root node it is not is the parent color black no because 003 is our new node x node and x parent is 002 which is also red and this node x, uh, x itself also is red so parents color is not black so we go to the 
further in the algorithm. Here we check is sibling of parent null or black. So sibling of the parent of x. So x is 0, 0, 003. Its parent is 0, 0, 002. The sibling of the parent basically means the left child of the parent of 0, 0, 002. And there is no left child. So it is null. This function should return true. Here after in this uh, function we are basically checking whether what is the parent and the current node or the x node are they left or right child children of their parent so they are both right children so we go inside here and we rotate the tree to the left so the rotation happens between x parent which is 0 0 2 and the y which is x parent which is 0 0 1 so x here becomes the 0 0 2 and y is 0 0 1 the root node so we check and then we do the rotation i won't explain that again we flip the colors and we come out so now the important thing to note is that the root node has moved after left rotation between the root and the first right node the root is 001 the right node was 002 the left rotation will result into 002 being the new root of the tree 001 being the left subtree and 003 being the right subtree of the root which is 002 now that means our SCID to root pointer table is now pointing to a, a, a node which is not the root of the tree. We need to fix that. So therefore, the current root pointer in SCID table, that root has converted from parent from a root node to some child nodes whose parent is not null. So therefore, we go inside the reassign root node function and we get to the parent of the root which is a 002 and if its parent is not null we continue to find up the tree which is not the case uh, so we get x and that is a root node its parent is null you can see the parent is null and therefore the new function point this pointer should point to this particular node now so therefore we are fixing the SCID to root pointer table as well. So after this function, our state of the diagram here is restored back in this case back to point to the root node. This this pointer is pointing back to the root node. This is very important change that we need to make. And then so and so forth, it will go on and index the data. So let's run it through. Now we'll do the traversals. Like I said, in order traversal for CGPA should result into increasing order CGPA. So let's take a look at the output. So here is the output for the CGPA 5.9, 6.4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on and so forth. Everywhere we see it is always increasing order. That means the data is correct okay and now we do search by id we traverse you search by id and we do the traversal let's see the output so we go a little up you can see that this output starts from 001 002 3 and so on and at the end we can see it is 375, 376, 377, and 378, 379. So that means we have increasing order. So let's check something in the middle. Just to verify 144, 145, 146, 47, so so and so forth. So that means we have this also in an increasing order so that Tree, the red black tree for ID is correct and we will do the traversal for uh, 
um, names as well. So names also look to be in the increasing order. So they start from here. They start from A and then you have somewhere start B starting, starting here, B, and then C starting somewhere. Uh, here and so on and so forth. So we have basically uh, implementation which is correct. We have red black trees which are nearly balanced trees having our data indexed in red black trees and we verified by doing the traversal. So what we can do probably is we can just um, remove this traversal now we have, once we have verified and we can move back to the search results. Uh, let's execute. So now we are ready for our binary search, fast and furious search, and it searches for name called Aldo Leopold, and the search count is one, so it, find, it finds it. We print it. Let's check. So search by name Aldo Leopold, one matches 244 Aldo Leopold with um, CGP 9.1. Let's take a look. 244. So Aldo, Aldo Leopold and 9.1 CGP. So this is the correct find. Now moving back to the code, we are looking for CGPA of 9.5 search count 47 matches. This will be a list. So we print it. 47 matches. We print it. And invariably it is true, I guess. So let's check one, maybe one. So I'm the mighty Isaac Newton 282. Control F two two eight two Isaac Newton okay and now we we move back to our code now we are going to search for by the ID and the count is one obviously there is unique ID for every student so the count will be one for the ID and we display and search by id this is the id of the student claude bernard so 46 is claude bernard let's verify that Zero forty six. Zero forty six is uh, oh sorry we need to go back up 046 is Claude Bernard. Okay, 8.6 CGP, and we have the same result over here. So our binary search works. So as you can see, we have changed the implementation of our library to be uh, using red black trees, and that gives granted O log n performance. However, the client code, the application code has not changed. We are doing our same three steps, create the criteria, index the data and search. So what we can do is we can ship this library with updated implementation using red black trees and our client or application can integrate that code into its project and without needing to do any code changes, it is able to get the better performance out of the library so we have come a long way since we started this journey of video series we talked about the dynamic memory allocation and management in c then we implemented a linked list using that those concepts also we uh, explored the callback function mechanism and its powerful usage 
then we created binary search trees on top of that list to search the data efficiently. And then to make sure that we have guaranteed O log n performance, we have converted those binary search trees into red black trees and there and without client or application requiring any code changes, we are able to um, do the change to red black tree. Few things that I want to uh, mention here. As we, if we see the layered architecture of our code, of our project, the application layer doesn't require any change for the, uh, any changes in the, in the lower layers, as long as the API, the search API doesn't change. The search API did not change, so therefore there was no change in the application code. So this layered architecture generally means that the details of lower layers are not known to the upper layers unless it is exposed by an API of the lower layer. Lower layer. For example, search layer is exposing the API and the upper layer, this app layer, is ex uh, interacting with that layer using this API. However, if we take a look at our code closely, in the search layer, we are in the search layer. In the search layer, what we are doing is, first of all, we are setting the node color as black. So that means the search layer knows the details that the binary tree implementation is using red black trees. Okay, that is one. Second, it is also, you know, um, using this reassigned root node function, it is also aware that the root node pointer might change. And that also is basically, uh, you know, getting into the implementation of the binary tree layer. Then also the type, this node comparison function, that node comparison function also needs to know the type of the data in the binary tree node. And um, this node comparison function, it needs, it knows the type of the key and how to do the comparison. So we cannot implement a new type without changing this layer. So these are the few things that we need to take care in a more professional implementation using um, callback functions so that the, the principles of abstraction and encapsulations are not violated. Here we are violating some of these principles because the search layer knows the internal or implementation details of the lower layer, which is not a sound design. But the goal of this project was not really a perfect design, but to make sure that we understand the data structures and memory allocation in, in C, how it is done. And um, I would leave it as an exercise for everyone who is listening to implement it in a more robust way where we don't, the search layer does not know anything about the implementation on the binary trees layer. And um, therefore it will be a more sound design. All right, with this, we come to the end of this hands-on video series. I really hope that you have enjoyed the journey as much as I have. And more importantly, you have learned few things out of it. Thank you very much for staying on course in this series. Wish you all the very best. Have a good day.